I don't care what nobody say. Knock somebody out with these is the best thing. You can score a thousand touchdowns, but knock somebody out and sell your field. So here we are sitting behind the curtain, ready to go out. It's me, Matt Linlin, and Mayhem. And Mo is so relaxed, it got me nervous. I had never seen anyone that relaxed before a fight, never mind a guy who had barely been training and was gonna fight a veteran heavyweight. And he was way more concerned with what the ring girls were gonna do. To me. Right before a fight, so nothing, I don't think about anything except I hope the girls are on time and they look good and they're on beat. Because I'm really, really, when it comes to the fight, I'm mostly concerned with my ring entrance. And he's sitting there with his crazy crown on his head and his king's robe. And finally, and I'm nervous at this point because I don't know if I've done the right thing by this guy. I put him in too soon, what's gonna happen? And I finally turned to Matt Linla and I told Matt, this is the most ridiculous thing I've ever been a part of. And Matt laughed too, because I know it's great. Because if you go, I'm telling you, people understand like the ring interest is what wins the fan fans over in, in, in Japan. People love that stuff and I love it too. It makes me want to get hyped too when I, when I see them go out there doing the things they do. It loosens you up because when it's time to fight, you're loose. You feel good. You let everything out, hang out in the ring walk, you know what I'm saying? So now you have, now it's just time to have fun. And just before we turn around to go out, he turns to me and goes, don't get mad uh, if I kind of do my own thing out there. And so I don't know what to do at this point. I just sit back and enjoy it. And I felt pretty good once the fight started. He was relaxed, he was moving well. And as soon as he landed that Superman punch, it was over. Like, I feel like I'm in a music park, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm at Six Flags or something. It's like, which ride do I want to jump on? You know what I'm saying? Choke Express, the knee bar roller coaster. I'm, I, it's all over, you know what I'm saying? So I, when it's time, when it's time for a fight, I'm like, I wonder what I should do to him, you know what I'm saying? I know I knock him out, but how, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, yeah, I might be a little arrogant, cocky, you know what I'm saying? A little conceited, you know what I'm saying? Rude, whatever. But at the same time, I train hard enough, and I know where my body is, I can be that way. I train so hard. And I push my body to the limit every day, and I'm learning at the same time, you know what I'm saying? I know what what the danger is, and you know what I'm saying? I know what I gotta do to stay out of danger, so I just let loose. Because I know, I know what to look out for, so I'm having fun while I'm out there. My optimum weight for me is wherever the money's at. I fight heavyweight, I fight 205, I fight 185. You know, I don't want to just limit myself to one weight class. I want to have options. You know, you know what I'm saying? I buy none, you know what I'm saying? I'll tell I'll fight anybody, you know what I'm saying? Especially for the paper. That's what it's about. And you know, it's 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 a it's a you know, a double plus for me, you know what I'm saying? Fighting, paper, fighting, paper, fighting, paper, put them both together, you know what I'm saying? Make a big sandwich. That's how I see it. Try making it beats again. Yeah, I see y'all niggas watching. So we gonna show them how to do it like this. Do it like this. Hey.
If Mo is not a champion in two years, I will stop having sex with women.